Hey, you! It's been a while. Wow. What's up, man? What? Hi, people from all over the world. It's Tai Chi back with another English video. Hello. So, I'm back from Canada. Uh, three months of staying in Canada, and I'm back in Japan. I'm super happy. Everything feels fresh. Oh. Everything I do feels different than before, which is great. And I turned 22 today, August 20th. My birthday is August 20th. Make sure to take a note, folks. I'm doing great. That's what I wanted to say the most. And uh, I will have a little chat with you guys today. My voice is absolutely horrible because I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. So my hair is so long now. I like it very much. So, I turned 22, but honestly, I don't know what to feel about it because all the 20, 20, no, 22 years old, 22 years, year old people uh, seemed so much older than this when I was, say, like 15 or 16 or so. You know what I'm saying? Like that feeling happens every year to me. Anyone else feels like that? When I was 16, 18 year old, felt so like adult, you know? But uh, when I turned 18, not so mature. Am I mature? No. Who is it that I was watching? That kind of feeling. Sorry, my English is very bad. So. When I stayed in Canada, I saw Wizard Life, obviously, which was so great. I witnessed the, the little, little pretty old man. <coughs> good things that happened recently. I went to see my good friend Kai. For the first time in a while because I was in Canada and he is about to go to New Zealand for like six months and that was very fun. We talked a lot of things, this and that. I gave him that t-shirt I bought in back in Canada with Blink-182 logo on it and he was so stoked about it that he, he wore that t-shirt uh, two days straight after after meeting me oh, he's adorable and number two good thing that happened recently I bought myself a new guitar this oh my god this looks so pretty another Fender guitar uh, which is my favorite brand in case you didn't notice my electric guitar is also from Fender this is Squire Telecaster and uh, my ukulele is from Fender too and this does not stop here uh, my guitar strap the the reverse chromo reverse chromo design uh, lightning which is so lame but I love it uh, this is from Fender too Oh my god, I'm such a fan. Okay, I'm gonna talk about uh, what I wanna do in the future, in this year, to have a great year of 22 year old. So, firstly, I'm thinking about my... <coughs> I started to think about my career, my professional career. Currently, I'm off school. Uh, my university starts from uh, next year, so I have about uh, six months ahead that I'm free, so I have to work on my career. Do I sound Canadian now? I, I don't even know. Three months is not enough to be influenced pronunciation-wise. I don't know. And I learned a little bit of French because I was also staying in Montreal <coughs> for about 10 days, I think. 
the first plan was to stay there the whole time, like whole year, but uh, you know, plan changed. Although I stayed in uh, Toronto for three months, uh, my favorite place in Canada so far is Montreal, without a doubt, because people there did speak two languages. I mean, actually more than two. Some people spoke uh, more than two languages. And like people at thrift stores and stuff, first they, s they said hello in French, like bonjour, and, and they were like, I, w when I started talking in English, they switched like that. And they spoke perfectly uh, beautiful English. So that was very fantastic. And I tried to speak as much French as possible like I said bonjour to people and uh, merci to uh, to them every time they they did something nice to me. On the plane back to Japan, the the CAs were all Montrealer, I think, and uh, they they spoke both English and French. So like when they asked uh, beef or chicken, as in beef or play, I said beef. And they heard it. Yay, success. Success uh, moment. Success moment. I ordered a plain meal in French. That was a big step for me. Confidence boost. Today's French word to remember is beef, which means beef in English. And uh, after I came back to Japan, I went to a place in Osaka called Melbourne Coffee. Uh, and there were lots of foreigners there and uh, the family next to us uh, were talking in French so I talked to them and I said j'apprendre français which means I learn French and they uh, they responded to me uh, most of most of parts uh, she was talking I didn't understand but uh, one thing I catched was l'école, which means school. <coughs> so I said in English, no, I don't go to school for French. I just learn it myself. Uh, I, I said it in English. So next time I, <coughs> I want to say that in French. Okay, back to, back to my goals this year. So I want to be a English teacher kinda so I want to have experiences teaching English in Japan uh, also I want to make career out of my uh, art skill uh, like drawings and stuff so I'm gonna work on that and also if I could monetize this YouTube channel that would be great but uh, I'm not you know expand it uh, how, how do you say it? And most importantly, I wanna uh, spend good times. I wanna live health, healthily, healthily. Is that a word? I wanna live healthy, and uh, have a good time with friends and family. Also, I'm thinking about playing a live gig somewhere with my acoustic guitar. Uh, only me and acoustic guitar. I, I'm just gonna play some songs of mine to to real people not people online so that's new for me that i want to do this year and i kind of want to try modeling because my my good friend uh this uh recently is doing uh some modeling and posting pictures on instagram and i got interested in it so yeah that's it Music I've been listening to, uh, one of them is uh, Macaroni and Pizza, which is a Japanese band. I'm absolutely fucked by this band. They're they're great. Um, everyone knows knows them in Japan. They're they're so popular, but they're not like you know just popular. They're actually good. You know, if you if you do music, you can uh, hear some little tricky things in their songs that's why i like them and also i've been listening to 
the band or a man that influenced that band, Macaroni and Pursuit, that I said earlier, uh, which is called uh, Unicorn. Unicorn was the band, I mean, is the band, uh, who was very famous back in 80s or 90s in Japan. And the lead singer, Okuda Tamio, uh, of Unicorn, is so talented man. And I like his songs very much. All the generations in Japan, all of them, knows him. Yeah, I think that's it that I want to say. The most important part is that I turn 22. 22. And feel free to, to celebrate my birthday in the comment section below. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great year. Have a great life. Bye-bye.